Hello Techies. Let's open the Excel. I'm having the Excel name with the name of project management. Now if you see over here, I'm having some of the work items over here. Work item type you can see over here, one is task, epic, an issue. And the respective titles over here you can see for the respective work item type, right? And assigned, it is not assigned to anyone. And the state, which are there in to-do state, and the area path these are all in milestone and the iteration we are having milestone another one milestone slash print one and the tags and comments are blank now i want to read the data from the excel in that case what we are going to do we are going to use excel automation let's expand excel there i'm going to use launch excel and close excel as a best practice let me drag and drop these two actions onto the workspace. Now, over here, I'm going to give the parameters for the launch Excel. Launch Excel, I'm going to open the existing document, open the following document. And then I'm going to give the path over here. The path where I'm having the project management Excel file, right? I'm going to the path by selecting file. And then I have selected the file over there. Now, as a next parameter, make instance visible. I don't want to make the instance visible so that I'm going to disable this and then open as read only. I'm going to make it as false and then I'm going to click on save. Now, as a best practice, whenever you are going to launch an Excel, at the same time, you are going to close the Excel also. Let me drag and drop this close Excel action onto the workspace. Now, I'm going to select the instance excel instance as excel instance where already we got the instance from the launch excel all right now before going to close the excel i'm going to save the document if there is any changes in the document all right let me select the save document and then i'm going to click on save now i want to get the first free rows or column from the excel worksheet now let me go back to the excel once again there you can see i need to get the entire data you can see over here i'm having columns and rows right i want to get the entire data over here including columns as well as the rows but before reading the data by using read from excel worksheet i want to know how many number of rows and columns that i'm having in the particular excel how can i go ahead and get it here is the action that we have that is get first free column slash row from excel by using this action you can get the first free column and as well as the rows which are there in the active worksheet this by using this action you can get the details in a such way how many number of rows that we have in the particular excel sheet as well as we can get the n number of rows in the n number of columns in the excel which are there in the active worksheet all right let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace inside launch excel as well as close excel in between these two actions now you can see over here i'm having excel instance there which we are going to use to retrieve the data from the particular excel sheet there you can see the variables produced i'm having first free column and as well as first free row now let me click on save now what will happen you can see over here how many columns that we are having one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm having nine columns and you can see five rows that i'm having over here by using get first free column slash row you will get an output in a such a way first free column as 10th column and the first free row as six you can see over here I'm having sixth row is the free and there J column, I'm having free columns, right? But you may ask, I don't have any data, but here the columns are there so that it will be considered as the data. All right. So that you will get the output over here, the first free column as 10 and the first free row as six. All right. Now we got the required rows of columns required number of columns and required number of rows by using get first free column slash row from the excel worksheet action now i want to read the data from the excel right whatever the data that i'm having inside my entire excel which is there in the active worksheet worksheet one i need to get 
I need to read the data. How can I go ahead and read the data? By using read from Excel worksheet action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after get first three column slash row action. Now over here you can see Excel instance. I'm having same Excel instance that is which we are having for the launch Excel. And after that, I'm going to retrieve the data. I want to retrieve the data entire data. How can I retrieve it? I'm going to select from the values from the range of the cells. All right. Now I'm going to give the starting column as A and the starting row as one. Now, what are the end columns that we have? Now, if you see over here by using our get first free column slash row that we got the columns as well as rows. All right. So I got 10 rows and six. Uh, I got 10 columns and six rows, right? I'm going to decrease the value by one because of I'm having the empty column and the empty row so that I'm going to select the variable for the end column as first free column minus one so that I will get nine columns in the same way end row also what I will do I will get it first free row minus one so by using this dynamic values from the variables that is first free column as well as first free row I will get all the data inside my excel sheet now that's the reason we are going to use get first free column slash row from Excel. Now let me go to that advanced row over here to make you understand. Now in my Excel, we got the data of first free column as well as first free row. Along with that, you can see over here, I'm starting the column from A1 and uh, that is column A and the row is one. Now the first row I'm having over here as column, right? These are all the headers over there in the Excel sheet so that what I'm going to make it you can see over here first line of range contains column names I'm going to make it enable so that what will happen this data only the data I will get it in a such a way I will get the data from here only this is the selected data only I will get it all right now that's the reason I'm going to make it first line of range contains column names now let me click on save now to make you understand i'm going to run these four actions one is launch excel get first three column slash row from the excel and then i'm going to read from excel worksheet action now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now you can see over here by using get first free column slash row i got it the first column first free column variable output as 10 and first free row as 6 over here and you can see the data over here inside the Excel data, which we are going to get the data from by using read from Excel worksheet action. Let me open the Excel data over here. And you can see over here, the columns I'm having ID work item type because of we are having the first column we have selected as the column names, right? You got it, right? Why I have selected the property over there as enable for the first, uh, for the first columns as names right now you can see I'm having task names and all the data we have read it by using read from Excel worksheet action let me click on close thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section I will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day